I need to disengage the parking brake from the automatic actuator. To do that, I need a couple tools, a pick, uh, anything with a hook or, or an angle, something with some leverage that I can pull. I need a nail to lock into place and a screwdriver obviously to remove the cap. Um, this was quite a process. It requires removing the seat the cover for the parking brake and I found it so much easier just to remove the sill. Two screws take this off. Two screws here. There's some sticky adhesive on each corner so you be careful prying it up. Take the sill plate off. Now I can see what they're talking about. <clears throat> so I'll show you. The instructions are to disengage the pawl and then insert a nail to hold it in place. The pawl is this movable part right here. On the face, you'll see a hole. That's where the nail goes. If I lift this up, now I can put the nail in. Lift it up. Nail is all the way through. And you can see the nail is now all the way through and it's holding that pawl in the disengaged position. After inserting a nail through the hole in the anchor plate to retain the dry pawl in the disengaged position, move the parking brake lever until it aligns with the lock pawl. Depress the button on the lever and move the lever back down. Okay guys, the instructions made no sense to me. So after moving the pawl, putting a nail in to hold it in place, the instructions are to move the handle up till it aligns with the lock pawl, depress the button, put it back down. Uh, I don't quite know what that's supposed to do. The tension on the wire or the cable still seemed the same to me. What I did I took a tool for opening a paint can. It's it has a a slight hook here. The plastic piece, the ratchet piece that the brake cable fastens into. If I push that all the way down by hand, it exposes some teeth on top. I put this tool in there and it kept it in the down position. Now you can see I have all this slack and it's visibly loose in the back. What I have to do is unhook, unhook the brake cable. You can see, unhook the brake cable from the lever. The lever has the spring on it. All I need to do is disengage that right there. And now this is loose so it's not under load it's safe if I pop this up and off the lever it's free <laughs> <laughs>